Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Thank God for another glorious day. Amen. In the natural, people called it the rest day of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, but let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. Did you rest in the Lord on the Lord's day yesterday? Did you rest in the Lord on the Lord day Thursday? Wednesday? Tuesday? Monday? Sunday? Huh? Even on this Saturday before today, which is Saturday. Did you rest in the Lord? Huh? Now let me let me say what determined resting in the Lord. Did you serve God to the best of your ability? As much as God brought you through his word, that you may rest in his word. And no longer be a slave to work six, seven days a week, 24 hours a day in sin in the spirit, spirit realm. Huh? Did, did you? If you did, then we have a right to say that every day is a rest day of the law. So we, when we enter into just one day in the natural where we can use our five senses to what? To, to smell, to taste, uh, to, 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 to feel, to, uh, to see, to hear. Things that we can see, touch, you know, feel. Natural. With that understanding. That don't mean anything to God. That's a foreshadow. Of the real thing. But the real rest day is what we can say even in these words here. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Every day is a rest day unto the Lord if you are resting in his word. And the only way you can rest in his word is by what? Faith in being obedient to what he said and not what, what we say. Oh, glory be to God. So don't judge me and I won't judge you by the day in which you say that you keep in the natural because that ain't nothing. If you're basing your salvation and on your going back to Jesus when he comes to pick up his people on that you standing on shaky ground my sisters and my brothers. See, we don't let these pastors, we let these people have, took, have taken God's word and twisted it any way they want to twist it, but not having a mind of Christ, but having a mind of what? A carnal mind. To make decisions in the capacity what they what? Have to what they call reason after analyzing whatsoever they see, feel, touch, smell, huh? With their five senses. We don't work under that no more. See, that's the law of what? That's the law of what? Of the world. See, but we work in the law of what? Of God in spirit. That's spiritual law. See? That surpass what? That physical, carnal law. That's why I say I thank you, my brothers and my sisters. Amen. Whatever belief, whatever faith you may have or whatever, let us come together and reason. Okay, now, the topic. The topic. The topic. I'm going to be dealing, I'm going to be dipping what? In the natural things that is understood with our five senses. A carnal mind, what do I mean carnal mind? Carnal mind is the what? It's the way of what? Of the world of Satan. 
Sí. We use it. The, the, the worldly uh, 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 understanding of things that supposed to be understood in the family what of God, by God, for God, and then be half of God. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. Your goodness is ain't gonna get you in the kingdom of heaven. Your goodness ain't gonna get you in the presence of God. See. But God said what? In order to be in the presence of God, I'm just uh, 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 paraphrasing. One must what? Know something about God. You got to know something about God. You can't tell me nothing about something about God and you yourself don't know nothing about God. You working on what? A limited amount of information that you think that your four, part, four parents before you for it. And people all around you who are, are, are safe that is not connected spiritually in God's understanding. See what I'm saying? All right? So here, Jesus, I'm going back. Because you can't do nothing with this Bible when God said what he said, mean what he said. Jesus said, I be the word. In order to please God, you must have faith. That means you have to not only read, but you got to read and allow God to give you the understanding of his word. You see what I'm saying? So you can actually say what? That I have faith in God. You got to what? Want this. And the only way you can get it is through faith. See? Don't be a hearer on it, but what? A doer. And anytime you are a doer of something, that means what you got to what? Believe in it or what? To do it. That's the simplest thing. Now, I'm not getting mad with you, and I'm not going to say you're not going to have mishaps down your way or, or on the job training or what. I'm not going to say that. That comes with the territory. But the thing is that you got to have faith in God to start this process to continue. To, to start this process to what? To start rolling in your life. That you can walk by faith and not by sight. Not by the thing that I see, but what? The, by the thing that I don't see. Because God said, what? Well, speak those things that be not as if they were. were. This is what faith of God would do to you and me and many others that will put their what? Faith in Him. Don't make no difference what you see. The car upside down, but I'm going to speak that car being what? Right side up. I'm going to speak that until that car what? Come to be what? Right side up. Because upside down is the wrong way for this car to what? To perform. Somebody got to turn this car what? Right side up. So I'm speaking until that happens. And by the grace and by the power of Almighty God, you come out one day and get what you see. You see that car what? Right side. Oh. Like it's supposed to be. All right? Amen. Jesus, I be the word. See? He said, faith cometh. Faith cometh. That means it never stops. As long as your desire to what? To work by faith, to work in God's word, to believe God's word, to walk out on God's word, not by what you see, but what you hear, what? By the word of God. For faith coming is contained to come as long as you desire what? To be like God coming. By hearing, you gotta hear. And hearing by what? The word of God. Don't come and tell me you here and you doing opposite of what the Bible is saying. You are not hearing. You heard, but you are not hearing. Jesus, you know what? And that's why God said, what? Don't get upset. Don't get mad. Don't get nothing with these people. Okay, well, you came from the same path. You came from the same, same uh, model. See? God took time with you, so you got to take time with them. 
You can't fuss them out. You can't curse them out. Huh? You can assume this, that, and other. No, you got to work on what God tells you to work on. That's what is His word by faith. By faith. A lot, of, a lot of people out there right now, they'll be more friendly, friend, friend, friendlier, friendlier than they are if we that in the, call ourselves of the child of God, and we ourselves will be friendly. God said, well, go and show yourself friendly unto others. See? And he didn't say everybody. But if you're in the Word, the Word going to lead and guide you to have you to do what you need to do. To what? To be friend, friendlier to whosoever. See? And sometimes you might find just one out of ten what might shut you down. Say, what's friendly today about? What's good about today and all that? You know, don't pick and argue with that right there. Say, hey, man. All right. Hey, my sister. I just wanted you to have a nice day, man. My sister. What's good about it? It take two to talk. Hey, I'm gone. See you, bro. Gone. Gone. Now he can ram it all in, or she can ram all, whatever they want to, whatever. You did what God said do. Just so have you got one bad out of, out of ten. But look at the nine that you, 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 you were affected by, or vice versa. Now God can put, do something. Because every time they see you, then they smile. And they don't know why they smile. <laughs> huh? It's the goodness of God that leads us what, to what? Repentance. They repent and don't even know. It. See what I'm saying? That's, that's scripture. Yeah, that's scripture. The goodness of God leads us what? To repentance. You know why? Let, 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 let me tell you why. Because we, we, for so many years before we got saved, we cursed God. We spit on God. Huh? We didn't listen to God. We did everything against that was good, right, just, and holy against God. But God stood right there with his goodness, and he kept on smiling. He kept on getting me and you out of trouble, and we didn't even realize, didn't even know. But all of a sudden, one day, all that he done, all that he did, all that he come, continues to do, one day, he broke the ice, and you began to see and understand that all his goodness all his goodness was there to what? To lead me what? To repentance. Lord, I forgive. Forgive me for what I did. Forgive me for what I said. Forgive me how I treated you, Lord. Lord, have mercy on me. That's why he said his goodness leads us to repentance. See? It's God's grace and God's mercy that we are not what? Going to the grave. In the condition that some of us find ourselves in today. No hope. No salvation. No God. No nothing. Only waiting for what? Hellfire. I just want to share that with you, my brothers and my sisters. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Amen. I want to share it with you. Now, let's go to something else. Because I'm going to steal whatever God tell me. Let's go to something else. Now, it's a, it's, 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 it's not hump. It's not, uh, what's that word I wanted to use? It's not ironic. Yeah, that's a good way. That most They call themselves Christian, which means Christ lack. And if you lack anything, then guess what? Guess what? You are to exhibit that which you are lack of. If you lack Christ, then you are to exhibit the character of his attributes, see, his ingredients, you are there, what? Show that in you. It should be seen in you. Isn't that right? See, is that what Christ right mean? See? The word Christ means what? Anointed. See? See? He was sent for a particular Reason 
He was anointed for the task that was given to him. The sacrificial lamb. The one to die for the sins of the world. Or the human family. In the Greek, he called Christ Christos. In Hebrew, he would call Messiah. Still the same, one and the same, the anointed one. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. So we ought to exhibit that in our life, in our spirit man, in spirit woman. Well, I would say spirit man, masculine, spirit man. Same with the Bible, I ain't getting away from the Bible. And even the woman in their spirit, of the same spirit of Christ in their life. See, this is what we should be doing all the time if we call ourselves Christian. I didn't say the religion itself, Christianity. See? See? God don't have what a religion called Christianity. He tell me that pure religion is what? Pure, huh? Unadulterated, huh? See? Pure religion. The goodness and the righteousness of his holy word. See? These uh, holy scriptures, his holy word, purity, kind, peace, easily to be entreated. Purity. Okay. And saying all of that, saying all of that, we find ourselves in the 21st century, in the year of 2023. And everything that I told you has been happening is because of Jesus is setting up his kingdom down here in the natural on planet Earth without sin. Without sin. That's what he's doing. That's why we see so much chaos and things that we never see or hear that is now what? Coming out of the mouths of or evil and wicked men and women. I didn't say everybody. I didn't say everybody. You see? see? That's what we see going on here today. We hardly ever hear the teaching of Jesus coming back. We hardly ever hear how the devil, Satan, the fallen angel, his name used to be Lucifer, was kicked out of heaven down here, not in the water, not in the sea, not in the, not, not in the fire, not, not, not in the cave, not in the, the trenches. No, he was kicked down here on planet Earth. He's a spirit, and he infected the spirit part of what? The human family. And not only was he kicked out of heaven, in Revelation, I believe, 7 or 9 up in that area there. Go look for yourself and see. He will kick down here on planet Earth. And a third of that, what? Other angels, what? Were kicked out, what? Out of Earth, out of heaven, what? With him, down here. With him. And they, and they going to and fro in the dust of the Earth, seeking whom they might, what, kill 
destroyed by the poison in which they spread that comes from their free will of serving themselves. They're called demons. Disembodied demons looking for what? A body. They can't do anything unless they find themselves what? A body. Because they need permission to do what they what, uh, uh, really wants to do against God's creation and everything that's made of and by God. They need a body. They need to get in somebody. And that's why we have what? Because of our free will, the evil and wicked men or women from the north, from the south, from the east, and to the, from the west. I'm telling you history. This is how it goes. This is how it is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did I, I carry those? Yes, I did. I carried them same evil spirit, the teaching, the doctrine of what? Of Lucifer. That made me what? A, 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 a body, a demon, a demonic spirit in my spirit. And I work accordingly with my free will to, to bow down to whatever it wanted me to say, do, or go. Yeah, until Jesus came to what? Deliver me from that. Man could not deliver me. I could not deliver myself. It took another spirit to deliver me. Because this is what? This is a spiritual warfare. It took Jesus' spirit to get the devil spirit out of me. And Jesus now what? Rest in my spirit. And now he what? He cleansing me. Cleansing me, cleansing me, purging me, purging me, putting me through the furnace of fire that I may come out and come forth as pure gold. He wants to make me transparent to his father, to his word. So when he look in my spirit, he can see himself. He can see what? His word. He can see everything that's about the father in me, in my spirit, because I have allowed him to dwell in me by his word to cleanse me. And it took time. And it's still taking time. But I'm nowhere near where I used to be. I've come a long ways. And a lot of you can say, you don't come a long ways in Christ Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. For he said, well, I am the word. It's the word. It's, it's the word. Everything will pass. But the word is so going to stand. It'll never pass. The word is the power of Almighty God. It is God. Manifested itself well down here in flesh. Oh, hallelujah. See, they ain't gonna preach this to you. See, they preach now, you don't, you don't even hear the devil voice. All you hear about yourself, what I can do, what I can do. I'm not gonna receive it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this. Oh no, I'm I'm I'm, I'm ain't nothing about God. So are you trying to what? Huh? Say something about God. You scared to come forward and say, look, God this, God that, Satan that, Satan that. You scared to say, the Satan got you all tied up and knotted up into self. You need to come out of self. Come out of self. Somebody say, I got to come out of self. And let what Jesus be seen. These modern day, what they call Christians here today, they think, they think that you shouldn't go through what you go through. You shouldn't go through what? Uh, evil and wickedness of, uh, 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 that come from the, uh, 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 come from, uh, 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 the works thereof. You shouldn't go to, you shouldn't have to go to and bow down. You shouldn't have, no, no, you got it all wrong, sister brother. Jesus said that when you come to me, when you get saved, I know when you enter in into the blood that saved everybody, man, woman, boy, and child, he said, well, they're going to be trouble. <laughs> Huh? Do you know what trouble is? All of a sudden you left one house and you moved into somebody else's house? Huh? And you denounced of those things that ran by him or her that was all one house? And then you over in somebody else's house? What do you think the people going to do and say? There's trouble coming. Trouble going to follow you. Why? Because they mad now because you don't stay with them no more. 
You don't want to stay with, over here now and you yield all your resources well over here now. And that's the same thing with us moving into God's house. We yield what? Our, our obedience. We yield our loyalty now to God. We listen to what? God now. And the devil is made. See, the devil is made. It ain't your mama, your daddy, your papa, your, no, your, no, no. It's the devil that works in ruling vessels. They got a choice free will just like you. You see what Jesus said, it's going to be trouble. So if you think it's going to be pie in the sky, a bed of roses, because now you're on Jesus' side, you got the wrong understanding of what Jesus is saying. If that was the case, Jesus wouldn't even went to the cross. He didn't want to go, but guess what? See, he obeyed his father. He said, whatever my father said, guess what? I'm going to do it. Because my father knows. I'm going to do it. I'm going to obey him. He got a long track record. Uh, I'm going to obey Satan. No, 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 no. Get the ears behind me. Huh? But Jesus told Satan to his face, what? Thou shalt what? Worship the Lord thy God. Him only shall thou bow thou and serve. Huh? Huh? You got to know this word here so them things will pop up when you need it. When you need it. You can't go in there reading poetry and, and, uh, and literature and, and all this other stuff. No, you got to go in there with the power of Almighty God, the word of God. And God will give you all these things here. I know. I know. I know. See, you got to fight the word. You got to fight the word. And I mean the word of Satan by the word. And what I mean there, by the word, the word of God. That's the only way you're going to be successful, sisters and my brothers. No? Only way. Only way. See? See? So I just want to bring to your attention here. You know what I mean? You know, you're speaking of prosperity, you're speaking of all that, and that's good. But Jesus said, what? Search ye first the kingdom of heaven. In other words, do it my way, and all these things are going to be added to you. You see what I'm saying? If you don't do it my way, and then even when the things come to you, by the little band-aids and effort that you do, see, and you just use a little me, but the bottom line is when, it's, when, the, when the metal hit the pedal, when the, when the pedal hit the metal, the bottom line is you're going to listen to yourself first, self-preservation, because you have not what? Got things in order. You have not prioritized. You got to prioritize, sisters and brothers. Let's say, let, let, let us what? Prioritize. Let's, let, let's get the first, first, and the second, second, and the third, third, and all the other stuff will just come on, on board. See? 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 I've been on this rock going on 40 years here. And, I, and if I was looking for something, a man or whatever, or, or, or this and that man, I tell you what, I wouldn't find it. But believe you me, I know how to hustle on the devil's side to make whatever I need done here prosper. See, but that ain't good. See, that don't mean nothing. Because what I get today, I can lose tomorrow. Because what? I'm taking a chance. With God, we don't take chance. You see what I'm saying? See? See, people run past this and say, well, he ain't even open it. And all of this right here, yeah, yeah, I understand because I understand first. First for me, I got to get what? First. I got to prioritize. I got to do what? I got to what? Get the word first. And everything else is secondary. You understand what I'm saying, my brothers and my sisters? Huh? Different strokes for different folks. I was showing up hardcore, hardcore, evil, wicked person. Too mean then. Oh man. I mean, I mean not, not mean, mean, but they're just 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 evil. Wicked. Until one day, Jesus allowed my wickedness and my evilness to put carry me down a road what what that 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 can destroy me or what or 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 I will find what salvation. For me. See? See, because prison don't affect. Everybody the same way. You understand what I'm saying? For me, I say I never go back. Not like that. 
And even when I say I know, I didn't realize for the next 10, 15 years when I did get out, I did go back, what, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, my brother and sister, ain't nothing wrong with prosperity. Ain't nothing wrong with money. And ain't nothing wrong with those things. But you got to have a clean, clear mind of God to work in those things. That those, that those things work for you and not you for it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes, sir. Now, I said all that. I'll try to go back to this message here with Esau and Jacob. No, no, hold on. That's right, Esau and Jacob. They were the sons of, of Isaac and Rebekah. Isaac and Rebekah. And I told you Esau and Jacob were twins. From their mother womb, Rebecca. Okay. And I told you there was a lot of message, God inspired message that you can get from there. And what I want to do, I want to go back to the black man, the black woman, the darker skinned uh, group of God's creation. Really, I want to go back to the human family anyway. I ain't but one human race. Ain't no separate creation. Just one creation of the human family. We're all made what, out of one blood. That's the scripture. See, that's scripture. See. So when I talk about one, in the, one, one particular group I want you to understand and know that I'm not excluding every other group because of the different shades and color of their skin. On the contrary, I'm inviting you to sit and listen because you arrive from out of the beginning of the color of the darker skin or color of man or the human race uh, color. Came, everything came from the East. Whether you lack it or not, everything came from these. From these. From these. Okay. So, I don't think I got time to, to, come, to, to really do this whole thing like a, like a, like a uh, well, let, let me just go ahead and just go ahead and do what I do. What I can. Now, the blacks or the darker skinned group bigger, you know what I mean, about being what they think the first. You know what I mean? Everything rise from up. Like, like that's something. You know, like, like, like that, you know, you know. But see, they refuse to look deeper and see the real deal or the real cause. Of all this stuff they bigger or bigger about. See? Or argue about. Can I say that? Or upset about. Because of how the other groups of creation treat them, talk about them, whatever the case may be. But one thing I want to say is. We are the oldest, and what I mean by we are the oldest see. in color, in color, in the pigment, the color of the skin. We are the oldest on the on the on the premises of that we was created by Adam and Eve. No, no, we were created by we were created. By, hold, 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 hold. Let me get this right. On the premises that Adam, 
the created man that God made in the land of the east, in the area of Arabia, Egypt, the land of Edom. See, up in that area there. See, of the five major rivers, Euphrates, and uh, four more others I can't pronounce right now. Python, I think it was Tyrus, and uh, Gal Gahorn, a couple of more. And all of the area there, from the woman and the man, when they start having children, their children took on the same genetics of their father and their mother. Even science would prove that. All their offspring, they got half of their genetics from the mother, half from the father. The Y chromosome and the X chromosome. I know a little bit about it because I studied a little bit about it. But I'm just saying that's in the scientist world. See, but I want to get back to God's word, his word, what he said, how he did what he did. So basically speaking, all those children were what? Of a color, skin color. See? And that area there. Even they will tell you today, by statistics, in 2023, there are more people of color on the planet of Earth than of any other color. What I mean, darker skin than color. Now that make you black pretty, pretty, pretty that, that make you pretty uh, proud of it. See, but you shouldn't be proud because of that. That's God's work. That's what God did. He desired that. You see what I'm saying? See, see. Because he from that, you say that we be what? We be the elder. We be the oldest. We be what? The first. Only in color. Own it and cut. What do I mean by own it and cut? Because that's where it starts. By the color of your skin. See? And the devil has taken that and utilized it among God's creation to our detriment. Detriment, detriment. And to our harm, hurt. That's what he's done. But even still, even still, we can't say that we be the first of color, this kind of color here. See? We be first. See? But what we have done, we have misconstrued a lot of things by not understanding the power and the will and the creation that God created by God. See, we feel that 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 we are what they will say the real Israelite, the chosen Israelite, the real Jew because of color only, because of color only. Color only. That could father be from the truth. That's a lie from the piss of hell. But let's say, let's, let, let's give credence to it just, uh, uh, just a little bit. He, even if Paul said, he said, y'all always reckon those that come with a hook and a crook in the church. You always reckon those that come in there act like they are part of us or are the family of God. You reckon them. Uh, uh, religiously, but when one of the 
two saints come in, you treat them like they're a bag of vomit, a bag, bag of vomit. What do you call that word? A traveler, a, 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 a bag of bond, bag of bond, I feel bag of bond. Just go from one place, one to the place, just hustle and stuff, you know. He said, well, 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 well they, they come in, Paul said, Paul, it's Paul here now. Paul said, they come in and tell you what they done done, what they done said, how many P, uh, PhD uh, degree they got, how many, this, how many churches they spoke to, how many white audience, how many black audience, how many Hispanic, how all this stuff that they done done and everything. Huh? That's what Paul said. And you whack up them open arms and everything. But here, a true saint, a true apostle, a true man or woman of God come in your midst and you treat them like dirt. But you're willing to take everything that they got spiritually. He said, so, 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 I want you to just uh, uh, be still and just hammer me just for a little bit in my father. And his father would say, I've been, what, beaten by uh, 39, uh, 40 uh, slashes by the Jews, uh, except one. And then he said, I had shipwrecked a night and a day. And then he said, I was among, what, thieves and robbers, dangerous nights and days, just to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, just to give you the more, more writings of the New Testament than anybody else. And then I, 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 I was dissing, I was dead. And I, I did. See, I'm in my father here now. I mean, my father wants you to know what I went through for you. 